Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard where we're still in the Moor Watch. Also that last room I thought we were going to get the Manfred guy. The other character that's voiced by Matt Mercer who was I thought the only one voiced by Matt Mercer but like here we are. Um, the little skeleton friend. Like where's this? Oh maybe the skeleton friend is the uh, is the one that's going to be Emmerich's superpower somehow you know? Where the dead must go. Drive out the Venatori. Where are they? You found those Venatori. They have no time to Wave robber captain. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's sort of a delayed thing. Thank you, Thomas. Anytime. Oh, we're just having a conversation. Thanks, buddy. Take that, you little... What are the Venatori after? Gold? Artifacts? Raw magic. Their first envoys were obsessed with gathering power for some new masters. Ah, oh, I'll fill you in on them later. The, the envoys, as in, like... They actually send like actual envoys asking for permission, or is he saying that about the first like incursion that the Venatori tried to do? You know what I mean? Their envoys is a very polite way to say it. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, 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 it's a light helm. Let me see what it looks like. Wait, go away, thing, so I can look at the appearance. No, it looks cool, but I'm never gonna wear it. But, you know, cool beans. I don't know why there is so much to pick up. Like, I, anytime I see a glitter, I'm like, I have to pick it up. But, like, why? <laughs> why is there so many? Can I break this one? No, it's only on the other side. That is very ultra lame. Lame. Oh, what a good statue. Oh, what good, what good architecture. <laughs> hmm, I suppose I need to go this way to figure out. See, like, with all the money that goes into, like, preparing the tombs and stuff, this place really should be in better condition. Unless they all purposefully actually want to keep it like this for the vibes. A despair spirit. Walk soft. Your hair is I am, like, simultaneously doing my... I was doing my shield bounce and... Hitting somebody with a shield, you know? It was amazing. I can't see a thing. I do think it's fitting too that we are fighting despair, right? I think it's very appropriate, very apropos for the current vibe of the you know. One less spirit of despair in the necropolis. Like in the game, That's right? The last of them. I see someone by the crates. I like, don't think they're Venatori. You know, like we don't want to despair. You know, in in this in this world or in our world yet at all, whatever. You know. Yeah, yeah. I. Oh. This looks interesting. What? A spirit labyrinth. I didn't know they'd learn to make miniature ones into Vinter. A spirit labyrinth. Oh. Hello. Did the Venatori bring you here? They said. They said I'd spilled the wine too many times. That I'd be a better sacrifice than slave. You are in Navarra, sir. There are no slaves on our soil. Please remain here. After we've seen to the rest of the Venatori, I'll send for someone to escort you above. Oh, 
All, all right. Doesn't know what to do. Oopsie. Scrawled note. Gone to the upper chambers to investigate a noise. With luck, it's only one of those lumbering, devouring corpses. But a sight. Throw my body to the flames. I could do in the rest of the civilized world. See? Nobody appreciates the Navarran style of death. Who dragged that man down here just to die? The Watchers will shelter him. We'll inquire if he has any family in Minrathus. As for the Venatori, what remains of them will be put to work. Ooh. So, oh, that would be fitting to have, like, your, like, undead workforce be, like, those who broke in and tried to steal. Because, oh, my gosh. Like, no wonder they have, like, an, an armed, you know, guard contingent, like the Morn Watch, right? Because, like, not only would you have to protect, like, the undead, like, the, the living from the undead, you have to protect the, um everything that anybody puts in here like the artifacts the jewels whatever that they bury themselves with they have to protect protect that from grave robbers oh my gosh i would actually be like legitimately i just realized like this would be like basically i'm protecting a giant city of the dead and like their effects from grave robbers like that could be like the whole purpose of the born watchers almost you know like it could be it's not but like it could be and if i'd have thought about that Ooh, i'd always love the idea of actually being like kind of indiana jones not in the looting sense but in the sense of like running around and like like i don't know liberating artifacts from nazis you know and like there's a there's a, a there's like an art squad like an art police squad in Italy, like the Carabinari or something like that, and it's their whole job to track down like looted artifacts and get them back. And like you don't get to beat up the grave robbers, but I would really love to be able to have a job where I could beat up grave robbers and get stuff back and like put it back where it belongs. You know, or just like looters in general, you know. So I honestly, this job, I deal even more than I thought. More Watcher is perfect for me. <laughs> Even more beautiful. Oh. The sunken star can help us if we break the Venatori's chains. Right. Oh, are those chains like those are bad Venatori chains? They are bad Venatori chains. Oh my gosh. Yikes. And they're sparking. That's a big magic. Like that that would take a lot of energy. No wonder they brought slaves like just just to do this, you know? Oh. poem actually to whom the bell tolls is the book right but like yes. of Kill them all, but save yes the limbs. save the limbs why how did you oh dear nice work. thank you I just beat somebody to death with my shield again it's my favorite activity from death comes life. <laughs> oh, what is this? What kind of statue? I was like, is this like a praying lizard? I think that's actually just a really long person. Is that a skull at the top? Is that one of those ones we were seeing before with the fancy headdress? Because from down here, it doesn't look like just a skull. Wild. I don't remember what I was saying before this all started, but I felt like it was cool. I'm just sad now. He has an ability called the Beltoles. I already knew that kind of, but... Oh, that's right, the bells! Um, yes. Edgar Allan Poe actually has a very, like, ominous uh, poem called The Bells. And he just, like, a few times, he just, like, repeats the bells, the bells, the silver bells. It's pretty... It's good. I, it's interesting, like, the way it, like, sort of flows. Like, the way, like, those bells is repeated and, like, gradually more and more. It's like, ooh, the bells of a wedding, the bells of a birth. And then it's like, the bells of a war. The bells of a... of a death, you know? Like, it's like, ooh. You know, very Edgar Allan Poe-esque. Please give me some armor. I feel like we're having a bit of a visual glitch there. 
Oh, hi. Are you... Oh, are you... Is that... He just... He just jumped down there? Oh, this is the main area. Okay, hang on. Let me get this... Oh, my ultimate's full. I did not even... I thought it was still had a bit to go. When do we get... Be ready. The ritual to wake the bell will draw despair's attention. And any more venatori. I'll need you to keep them occupied while I work. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um... Oh, okay. From whence shall they come? Oh, I do want to watch, though. Ah. There's the Venatori. How about that? Don't interrupt me while I'm doing my shield tosses. Stop it. Get. <laughs> that was cool. Ooh. Rage demon. This is our first rage demon, I think. Like our actual. Like, oh no. Look at that. Okay, the rage demon. I, I think I do like the demon redesigns. Honestly, they're not like spooky anymore, but they're like cl pretty clean, and I, I think it looks good. Ooh. What? Yeah, like actually. Wow, I am absolutely destroying. With my bonuses to, you know, demons and whatnot, and undead. I am just... Is it me? Say the word. I've got fire on too now. Ow. Ooh, I have no more healing. Oh, okay. Uh... Overkill, but who does it? Oh no! Wait, there's still a demon alive. Yes! Pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you. But come, let's ensure these cultists didn't leave anything dangerous behind. I'll ask our attendants to gather their bodies later. Of course, of course. No waste, not want, not. You know. Um. Oh my gosh, though! <laughs> I just I got it right as I was like helping defend my my home. That's so cool. I timed it so well on accident. Ooh. Uh, hang on, let me. Oop, wrong button. And just hope everything is not blowing up. Ooh, let's go! I can unlock it now. <laughs> Defender of the living and the dead, the more watch reaper leeches life from enemies, throws shields with precision, and turns their own pain into strength. This is exactly what I wanted. Yes. <laughs> oh no, skill. Okay. But it does say a skill point is required. Oh, I have to pick the specialization. Okay, and then I still have the point available to me. And I'm actually almost about to level up. I think I went up like a whole level technically with that, completing that mission, and I was close to leveling up anyway as it was. Wow. The, a uh, freaking, well, I mean, I'm not a warrior, so why, I mean, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a mage, so why is a warrior like, oh, maybe she's using a two-handed weapon. Call upon the Mormon Watch as a cult knowledge to unleash a necrotic storm. The whirlwind moves towards your target, inflicting multiple hits and applying siphon to enemies. What does siphon do? Returns a portion is healing? Yes! Well, in the whole, like, you know, uh, what, is it, what did I say? Um, throws shields with precision? Like, that's crazy. Like, I know, like, 
Like, I know that there's, like, the shield stuff was on this side. So, like, if you like the shield stuff, you're over here. And if you're less into the shield stuff, you're probably over here and down here. But, like, you know, it's still just, like, oh, I love that it's, that it, that I picked such a good specialization for myself. <laughs> I did do some research, but I just, it's just working out so well. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, and I get the scythe! I get the scythe! Yes! Call for the ethereal scythe. Scythe. It slashes your enemies. Oh my goodness. Let me see. I need to look at my... The thing is, is I really like all of these abilities, though. Oh, this is so fun. I just need more watch armor now. More watch armor? Oh no, you're, uh... Oh, searching the Venatory equipment. Um, this is a severed hand. They did want body parts. A hand of glory? What? The Venatory oh! Have this. I must find out where it came from. The, uh... Is the hand of glory... I think the, the antiquarian brings it up, actually. Doesn't the antiquarian... He was in technically in Dragon Age 2, and then technically in the expansion for Inquisition where you can go buy like loads of stuff um Guardian of the Abyss according to their dying wishes the skull of the legendary Mourn Watcher sits atop this menacing conduit of necrotic power I mean like I, using your body in this way like like telling telling people that you want your body to be used in, in a particular way after your death is like I think another way to like live sort of you know or like to be remembered there's interesting ways of uh, like you can donate your body to science and like let it um like not like it use your bones and like, you can actually like be like you know hey use my bones that i'm giving you and not like you know native american bones that you didn't ask to like hang up in your classroom you know what i mean stuff like that fellow necromancer is what he is with me right now let's do oh it is cool wow Okay, maybe I will be a mage, or maybe I will be a necromancer in my, like, an actual necromancer in my next game, because they get some sick staffs, like, what the heck? Also, buddy, do you have, you don't have any more? His abilities are so cool. I'll be like, oh, look what I found, and I just toss it to him. Well, I can't... Like there's, there's a couple places still locked to me, so it's a little like, what else is going to happen, you know? Let me in! Oh, speak with Emmerich. Wh why can't we get into the rest of it? Emmerich. Alright. Let me know when you'd like to return to the chambers above. He's so proper. Let's get back to the lighthouse. You can tell me why you've sought out a fade expert on the way? Can Are these people just so free that they can just, like, peace out whenever? You know what I mean? Like, don't you have obligations? I know it's a lot, okay. but I swear we've seen the blighted elven gods ourselves. It would explain recent Oniric disruptions. At the least. <laughs> The implications of what Rooks witnessed are... Ah, thank you, Manfred. There's Manfred. He's precious. <laughs> As a Mourn Watch symbol. Adorable. Is your assistant wearing the old Watcher livery? Oh my gosh. Manfred so did himself. Eventually. That's... You spoke of danger <laughs> to the Fae. This guy's like, please. The Elven Gods plan to tear it wide open to get to the Blight. I came home to find a necromancer who'd help stop them. A fade expert. Many watchers never depart Navarra. But with events so dire... I... I'd be delighted to assist. It has been many years since you left us. Well, yes, but elven gods, oh. ancient magics... I couldn't bear miss this. Besides... I've spent my life exploring the Fade and speaking to spirits. Solace? If Rook needs an expert, none are better qualified than I. I... this is amazing. And I wonder what they, these seem like, the, like a co-leaders, you know, or maybe she's a leader and he's like a, like a, like a vice leader, you know, I don't know. But, um... 
Oh my goodness. He's so enthusiastic. He's so chipper. And she's very like solemn and like, so is he. Like they're the, they're the quintessential like necromancer types. And he's like, oh my. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. Got a five. Promise you'll bring Manfred. It'd be nice to have another watcher. It'll be good to have another Morn Watcher along. My knowledge is at your disposal. And I could catch you up on events at the Necropolis. That would actually be so great. Welcome aboard. That would actually be so Wonderful. great. Wonderful. I'll gather my things. Come, Manfred. <laughs> that is the cute. The Grand Necropolis was at peace again. And Emmerich was off to a new adventure. But in Navarra, nothing stays down for long. Nope. The Venatori had unearthed something no one should have and delivered it to the worst possible person. Zara! I bet you it's Zara. Emmerich's journey would soon bring him face to face with the gloaming lantern. Don't know that one. <laughs> or maybe it's a different mad scientist. She was definitely very mad scientist y. Uh, the gloaming lantern has come up. Um, um, um. Oh, they're not coming. It's been like in the like a missive um, promotional, like or like merch. There's like little glooming lantern pins, and they're cute looking, but like I don't know what they are. Na -na -na. He does seem like this sort to be like, oh, oh, just what an adventure, you know. And that other guy was like, mm, you, you, it's been a while. You, he seems like the sort to maybe you know be a bit of a homebody. Especially if you can explore the Fade, you know, whatever. But like Solo says, like, you can't find new areas in the Fade if you don't wander. So, this would be beneficial. But straight up, like, that's what Solo is. Like, he's like, I've, I've wandered the Fade and, like, spoken with spirits. And I'm like, oh, it's Solo. <laughs> the Venatory plot is the beginning of a chain of events that will lead ever to a dark figure from his past. Everybody's got dark figures from their past. Oh, Rook, I must thank you again for helping me. Quilia, Quilly Quion, the shadow dragon healer, says I'm well mended. We've worked together to map routes through blighted parts of the catacombs. A few more wardens have arrived as well. Between the Grey Wardens and the Shadow Dragons, we'll clear these tunnels of Darkspawn. We're in this together, all over Thetis. Whatever the fight takes you next, I believe you and your friends will find a way through. This blight or blights will be stopped. And that was ooh, we did say that at one point where um It was like the blight to end all blights is what Rook said at one point to Devrin and I was like yo that is a bold statement because that's what the wardens are trying to do in the last game is end all blights you know permission granted you have driven despair from the shrouded halls for this you have our thanks if the venator return to plunder hunt them as you will it is time with a complicated impenetrable sigil yes I'm back I'm, I'm gonna take this as a um as a what do you say like a Welcome back home, tentatively, whenever you want, you know what I mean? Um, oh, I don't, did I, why didn't I get like a notification pop-up that I had something? Look, the Venator took full advantage of the chaos, as if the dragon wasn't enough. I knew it would be bad, but it's gone worse than I thought. I'll need to stay here longer. I found Rana, then there's Hall, the fish fry, my contact, I like from the threads, but you don't need a list of people you don't know. The time for a friendly tour of Docktown is long gone. The point is, there are people I've confirmed are alive, and others I still need answers for. One way or another, I'll be back once I know. Oh. Let's see what skills you have. Ooh. You also have time magic. Sick. What does... Quietus is, is a unique affliction that Emmerich uses to deal necrotic damage each second to his enemy. Summons an envoy of the dead who explodes. That's sick. Ooh, that's cool too. Yes, do damage to things. I want new armor. I should definitely go back to that place and find where they keep the shop. Where I didn't even like we didn't even see like a normal area there, you know what I mean? It was just like there was no other people. That I'd have to be able to go to a different area. 
to like shop and stuff. Anybody hanging out? Dad, I went back home and, and it went really well. Oh, yep, yeah, figures. Oh, what a nice spot, Tuli. He's decorated it just like home. Why is there a beam that glows above my room? I guess maybe Isolus has something to say. Ah, <laughs> he's like, get in here. I'm like, ah. Dad. You know, Rook, every time I think I've got a handle on how weird magic is, it just gets weirder. Poor Beric. He really, he, he really would like to just be like a homebody, I think, in many ways. And poor guy just gets dragged into everything. I was gonna double check something. I don't want to change anything. I just wanted to look and see what that. If I had like a weird scar, like down the middle of my chest, like I'd been um. What is the word? Um, when you politely eviscerate the dead. Um. Wow, I am not my brain. Uh, vivisection. Is that is that the word I'm thinking of? Autopsy. I was like, I looked like I'd been autopsy. This is, uh, you can put enchantments on your little items too. This is actually so many enchantments, like, what the heck. It's a little weird. And I get enchant for, I can select an item or ability. I can enchant my abilities. That's crazy. Oh, these are locked right now. I was like, what? And locks it. Oh, darn it. That, you, you had me going there for a second. I was like, holy moly. Everyone's rooms look so nice now. Very, uh, very fitting for them too. It's nice to see them like fitting into their areas, you know? Making it their own. Poor Nev, all her little wisps. They must be sad without her. I hope I get her back. It's kind of wild. Oh, who is he hanging out with in the pantry? Hey, Lucanus, you haven't seen a glowing crystal, have you? About this big? In the pantry? <laughs> it, uh, might be moving around. Growing, even. I'll keep watch. If it can get through the door, that would be like a closed door without an assassin noticing, then uh, you've really created something. Hi, he is. Wow. What happened in Rathus? Stay with me a long time. Oh, the, yeah, seeing. Yeah, that would be really difficult, but also, my gosh, this is really cute that he's doing woodworking and he looks super relaxed, like, with all his, like, like, extra leathers and stuff off. He's just, like, chilling with the, listen, I'm a sucker for, um, the boob window on men. And he, <laughs> you see those pecs? Holy cow. Holy moly. Where's the sun? Oh, he's got more little creatures, I think. Settling in, settling in. Asan, hello. Oh my gosh, I love the pets so much. They're so funny. They're not just like pet pet. They're like very unique. Harding has something to say. All right, let's see. Call oh, her room might be my favorite. Very relaxing, very nice. Did I see you writing a message to the Inquisition? Did I? What's that about? Oh, you know, Varric and I were part of the Inquisition, right? I'm trying to get news about the South. Me too. But Charter hasn't replied to any of my messages. I'm trying not to worry about what's happening there, but it's constant. No, it's probably fine. Charter's just busy. She's always busy. She's never been too busy Charter, to respond. 
She's the Inquisition spy master. Oh, now or is she? She would be if there was still an Inquisition. That's, cra that's crazy. I suppose she just works for the Inquisitor now. That's so nice to know. That is crazy. Wow, it's almost like Leliana doesn't exist or could be a divine. Although to be fair, even Leliana, even if she was a divine, which she is in mine. I think she would still try to be a spy master a bit, but like she wouldn't be able to do it all. So charter is the next logical decision, like next logical choice. The Inquisition's presence. Can we finally talk about this? Like, this is. I feel. I mean, I guess it's been. Ten, it's been ten years. It's been ten years. But like, still, it's like, this is the kind of thing that like you would maybe ask about. But ten years does make sense. To maybe not have it be forefront. You know. I haven't heard much about the Inquisition in years. Oh, that's intentional. When the breach was open, we needed a large group to stop Southern Thetis from falling into chaos. It's changed in the years since. We're a smaller force working underground to keep an eye on things going on in the world. We could use her help. Ooh. Yeah. Why isn't she here? We could use a hand. A hand. Charter entrusted the search for Solus to Varric, or to us. The world's large, and she's got many things to deal with. So how long were you with the Inquisition? Ten years? Something like that. Why? Twelve. You must know the Inquisitor. Mm. <laughs> yeah. We worked together. I wasn't part of the Inquisitor's inner circle, though. I spent more time with the ordinary people. The ones you didn't hear about. Uh, this is so fun. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm actually super excited. Um, I mean, to be fair, being able to ask about the Inquisition is maybe going to be a little shallow because we don't have a canon world state to reference back to, so, <laughs> you know, but. And the Inquisitor's advisors? What about them? Hmm. Of all of them, I'd say Josephine is my favorite. She's lovely. Where's she? She still sends me a box of handmade sweets from Val Royo every year on my name day. Cullen and I got along too, but he was always busy. He would have bad days from lyrium withdrawal sometimes, and I would share the tea that my ma sent. He's from Ferelden too. Maybe it reminded him of home. That's adorable. What about Leliana? I heard Ooh. she's intense. <laughs> I think she likes to cultivate that reputation. She's not nearly as terrifying as she sounds. You did not know her. Oh, I passed <laughs> her in the Great Hall one day, and she suddenly turned and asked me if I wanted a nug. Yeah. <laughs> a nug? Those small pink rodent things? What for? <laughs> she loved them. <laughs> made a hobby of breeding them as pets. So did you take the nug? No. <laughs> What am I gonna do with a nug? How do you say no to Liliana, though? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Liliana was not a terrible person, but she was very intense. She could be very kind, but I, in my world state, she's hardened, so she's willing to do terrible things for a good cause, you know? I'm gonna cry. Mm, I, I gotta ask about the ordinary people first. So tell me about these ordinary Inquisition members I haven't heard about. The Inquisition hired hundreds, and most of them weren't Magisters or Ben Hasrith or the left hand of the Divine. Mm -hmm. There were scouts and stable hands, carpenters and cooks and quartermasters, even two dedicated pastry chefs. Fancy. Most of them volunteered, like me. We wanted to help in whatever small way we could. It wasn't as bad where I was. But I remember the demon spitting sky holes. <laughs> Nothing like demon spitting sky holes to bring people together. Huh? Truly. I made friends. Rector, Faulkner, others. The uh, Rector, Faulkner. Liliana gave all her agents pseudonyms. Right, like Charter. Well, Charter's Charter, but when the other two and I were together, we were just Lace, Wilbur, and Katya. <laughs> That's really cute, honestly. It's nice to see, because that was one of the big things about that Bull brought up, is that as the Inquisitor, you don't get to know all the people working under your command, you know, because it's too massive. You had, like, hundreds if not thousands of people, you know, working for you. 
Um, so it's nice to see that now, 10 years later, to be like, well, you got glimpses of it, right? And there was one particular War Table mission that I loved where you kind of like, this one guy like shows up at the tavern and like wants to help. He has like, oh, there's like bandits, or, like, I don't know, something, venatory something bothering his village and like you can go to the war he tells you about it and he's like i'll do anything i can to help like i'll clean or anything and you can um go to the war table and you can choose to like just leave him kind of you know doing whatever or you can choose to outfit him and send him with like a couple people because we're too there's too many things going on and so we can't we don't have the people for it but like if we can send him along with like a few other like soldiers to like clear the things out keep an eye on things and you can choose whether or not to have him be more um more of like a warrior type or like a roguish type or like a light like a light armor like scoutish type you know um and like you graduate there's like six war table missions associated with him and if you keep up with them like you watch him you can go talk to him afterwards and he's not a companion or anything he was just like a, he was a guy and like you watch him go from this sort of like stumbling like stable hand type like farmer boy who not super confident to like somebody who slowly starts accruing his own crew and his own friends and his own experiences and becomes more and more confident he actually shows up with his squad in one of the comics where charter is as well um, so, like, I think in one of the comics that I really like the, where Skyhold is, like, uh, attacked, I think, like, while Corypheus is fighting with the Inquisitor elsewhere, Skyhold gets attacked, like, in the comic, and so they're trying to defend it. Um, but it was really just great to watch this, like, young man, like, grow in confidence and become, like, somebody who truly believed in the cause, you know, like, of his own volition. And to just be like, I raised that boy, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> like, and there's a mission where you have to go help him, and if you don't do it within a certain amount of time, like he will go die, you know? Like he he'll die in they get like ambushed or something, and you you find out, and it, you have like two missions or something that you can do before like the time runs out, and he like he dies and minutes runs. So like, it was just really that one I really really liked a lot. It stood out. Uh, let's see if we're gonna get any tidbits at all or if they're gonna be cowards But you did know people from the Inquisitors in a circle, didn't you? I knew them sure, but those early days all I wanted was cowards. to prove myself and Not get in anyone's way some of them were more approachable than others <laughs> Sarah was okay a puppy with a new toy a hundred new toys fun if you can handle the mess. Yes. He was really the only one who could make Rainier, well, Blackwall then, let down his guard. Yes, I Otherwise, yes. Otherwise, he kept to himself and stuck to the stables. We'd talk when I visited the horses. And there was Cole, of course. <gasps> oh my gosh. The spirit horse? Yep. I was just sitting on the walls one day, and he asked if he could join my game. Like, a uh, card game? <laughs> nah. Just good old people watching. Must have seemed like a game to him somehow. We'd pick strangers out of the crowd and try to say something about them. He was better like, at it. <laughs> Ooh, she heard the joke yesterday and she's still trying not to laugh. Or one of Cole's. His eyes remind her of the ones beneath her bed. <laughs> that is exactly what he would say. And she even got the cadence right. Oh my gosh. Who stores eyes under their bed? <laughs> I'm partial to a nice wall display myself. Myself. Wow. <laughs> That's one interpretation that never occurred to me. Thanks. Whoa. You're welcome. Oh, you're Wasn't welcome. Cool an empath. He must have been great at this game. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. But the rule was you couldn't say anything you actually knew. He got it in the end. I think. So you didn't ask him if he guessed right? Well, being right wasn't the point. Making a habit of seeing people was. I think he liked that. Mm -hmm. It's why you don't miss. Oh my gosh, I am going to cry. <laughs> like, uh, I'm glad they did actually include some people. I'm surprised they picked ones because um, Sarah, Sarah is technically somebody you could boot from camp. She's also somebody I think you could technically just not recruit. Um, most of, all of them except Cassandra, Solus, and Varric, you can technically not recruit, I'm pretty sure. Like, you could just leave Blackwall in the Hinterlands. You could... 
might, you might have to have Cole. No. Either Dorian or Cole. I think you, Dorian you could definitely boot from your, like, he can get angry enough that he'll just leave. Um, Cole, I think, can get angry enough to leave. Um, Vivian, I don't think will leave, but she gets, like, she'll start rearranging furniture in the castle, which is hilarious if she's really mad. Um, Iron Bull, you could just not get. Yeah. Interesting that they picked the ones that they did. In the Ben Hass, rather, I mean, they mentioned him. That was Iron Bull. The left hand of the Divine was Cassandra. Or Liliana, I can't remember. But I'm glad they brought it up a bit, even if, I don't know, I guess they're just like assuming. You know what I mean? I don't know, I just don't feel like it was that hard to like put in, like just for like little quips like this, just put something in the world that says if you had a good relationship with them or not, and if they were still with the Inquisition at the end. You know what I mean? don't think it was that hard for we like little quips you know that's what we want like we don't want big dramatic things like involving the old characters i just want to like hear from them a little bit you know hear how they're doing and hear them referenced you know do you miss it the inquisition i mean it's hard to miss an organization they're only as good as their people don't you think but i do miss my friends we write each other but it's not the same and the Inquisition is different from what we've built here. Not better or worse, just different. Yeah. It's special when you're among people working toward the same goal. Not everyone. There was Solus. Ooh. What did you really think of him back then? What did you think of him? Lonely. He always seemed lonely. It's hard not to be when you hold yourself above everyone else. <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, my friend Breath has brought this up fairly recently to me where it's like, yeah, you... The Inquisitor is more of a lonely character than Hawk was, right? And Origins was kind of similar. But that Solus would... Like, this was the part where I was like, oh my gosh, like, Solus would understand this more. Like, she was... Like, her headcanon is that her Inquisitor was pretty lonely and aloof from most people. Not like... I don't know. I'm... I'm super paraphrasing it incorrectly but it's like there is an aspect of loneliness to being at the top of like a power structure you know and Solus would understand that more than anybody else would you know I don't think I'm gonna say I feel sorry for him he's not a jerk um he has a crusade is probably the most and given her like, I think the whole, like, do you trust him? <laughs> trust is a strong word, so do you trust him? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that was so funny. <laughs> For him. I think it fits better for her. Like, right? she's, not a, she's not blinded by love and admiration like the Inquisitor. I mean, the Inquisitor wasn't blinded necessarily. I don't think nobody suspected, right? It's just not her fault. And she wasn't stupid or naive or anything. It was just, um... You, like, grow to respect somebody and, like, enjoy talking to them and hearing what they have to say and, like, having them hear what you have to say and then, like, slowly that grows and, like, you know? And I think she probably felt more connected to him than anybody else without even realizing why because he understood her in, an, like, in a nonverbal sense, you know? And she could, like, you can kind of pick up on that sort of through, like, body language and stuff, like, you know? And subconsciously. Um, but Rook, my stone here, she, I think what we've seen of him so far, interacting with him in her head, but also seeing him in the one memory we've had, and I did get a, my friend did tell me to finish Solus's memories before finishing Harding's, like, uh, personal arc, and I'm like, I hope I haven't, like, jumped the gun at this at this point, you know, like, I don't, I sure hope she's not done, like, chatting with me and doing things, you know, um, but at this point, it's kind of early on still, right, where it's like, you can't fault him for some of the decisions, like, you can't fault him for his intentions, you know, where he was trying to do the right thing, and, like, in war, you do have to make sacrifices. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's never, there's never, like, as much as in the video game, we can be like, you know, there's always another way. There sometimes isn't another way that's going to work, you know? 
Um, anyway, I'm rambling. Yeah, I'm gonna go with he has a crusade. It's not looking down on him, and it's not praising him and being like, oh, poor guy, you know? It's like he had a mission, and that, that he's driven, and that defines him still, you know? He might be lonely, but I doubt he cares. He's single-minded. Mm. Nothing else matters besides his crusade. Mm. Because it's the only thing he's had. My ma used to say, a caged dog forgets there's grass outside. Anyway, I'm sure something out there's on fire, and here I am rambling about the past. I should let you go. Talk later? Listen, I just rambled for like five minutes, you know? Like, we, it's, it's good. Um... Interesting, that was a little harsher than I was wanting, but like I could see where she's, you know, she's like, he had a cause and blah, 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 and he, she hasn't seen, yeah, she hasn't really seen the depth of his emotion that like the Inquisitor has, where like she's seen his regrets and she's seen his love and his despair and, you know, the, the anger at like the wardens, like there's, he had different, a variety of emotions that he's not showing in his guise of the Dread Wolf, you know? That makes sense. I can I can live with it. And it's like I doubt he cares and if he could hear, oh that would hurt him. Um did I was there? Okay, yes, I was like, I do, I swear I have oh gall. Alright, computer, hold up. Don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I just noticed these, like, dwarven statues. Is that because barracks in there? Or are these, like, ancient elven? This is mine. It's plain and boring and sad. Oh, he really decorated a laboratory. A third edition of the unnameable elements? I didn't even know it had editions. Uh. Oh, it's much improved with the index. Uh, please, borrow it if you'd like. I'd love to. Oh, Rook, you probably wanted to say hi. Thanks, Professor. She's Look so funny. Just a few essentials. Manfred was a great help with the boxes. <laughs> is that Matt Mercer? What a fascinating place this lighthouse is. Uh, what do you make of it? He's so enthusiastic. I like him, like a scholarly sort. Better... She's gonna. I just. What? Um. Ooh. Girl, I mean, I kind of want to. I don't know if I want to flirt with him or not, but I don't want to, like, cut it out. Like, I don't want to, like, totally negate it, but this is too. It's too soon. He just got here. And we only did one mission together. I say that, but if I flash back and look at the way that I flirt with Lucanus like right out the gate, I'm like, mm. <laughs> um, no grand necropolis. But I think she likes to travel. Like she still wants. She's still a watcher, and she wants to be a watcher. But like, yeah. I'm not even a mage, and I've noticed small differences between the spirits here and the ones we get in the necropolis. So nice! Hmm. Cool! Many are newly drawn here, perhaps from the deeper fade. You should compare notes with Bellara. <laughs> We've already begun. I, yeah, I Although, noticed. I noticed a few of the others taken aback by Manfred, and I overheard remarks about my skulls. <laughs> my necromancy won't cause any undue worry. <laughs> I heard some remarks about my skulls. Dude, uh, if only I had more skulls and a little tiny skeleton assistant. Le okay, we'll be uh, honest and also, I, I hope this is funny, you know. No way! <laughs> but a few people might not get it. <laughs> oh, I'd hope to make a good first impression. Alara's excited you're here. Everyone else just has to get to know you. <laughs> what? Uh, please excuse me. Manfred and I should finish our inventory. Thank you for stopping by. Yes! Of course. <laughs> Does he have a...
pouch in his stomach. Manfred. Hold on. Okay, we gotta go photo mode for this. He's just maybe a bit too, like, you know, uh, he's like, oh my, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's funny though. I like him a lot and I want him to be around. Okay, he's got a bag in his, where his intestines should be, and like, camping gear stored in his rib cage. I mean, utilize the space. Why, why did you give him boots? That's so funny. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, this is so funny. I bet you he's gonna like, like he, yeah, he's gonna fill up this whole space with books. It's gonna look so cool once he gets it all sorted. And I, I'm t taking stuff from your room. I just finally got here. But yes, what else do you have to say? By the way, Rook, before I left, Myrna and Vorgoth asked if we could assist with an outbreak of hauntings across Thetis. They also mentioned displaced wisps in the necropolis. Oh. I'm not sure what's frightened them, but it bears investigation. A watcher's work is never done. How true. I'll send word the necropolis should expect us. I mean, they, they'd say that, and they're, like, and they're like, as you're leaving, could you come back and help us fix our problems? And it's like, okay, <laughs> you know. Ah, okay, now we have unlocked it. Okay, so now we could go find, like, uh, merchants and stuff, I assume. Ooh, I think, I think that's what that is. Oh, this is so fun. It is so fun to have another watcher here, and the conversations are so good. Like, they actually, like, you know, it's not just, like, in Inquisition, you got a couple Dalish lines, and but the, really the biggest one you get is with Josephine. Um when you're still at Haven, it's so nice to, like, be able to interact with somebody who's... I'm like, you got a few where it's, like, there's there was a few. It was, it was not bad. But I'm, like, this just feels a lot more, like, intimate. Like, talking with your faction people and having them be, like, oh, yeah, you know? Like, we are all cut from the same cloth, even if we come from different walks of life in many ways. You know what I mean? Or, like, I don't know. I was raised in the Necropolis. Like, this character is technically raised in the Necropolis, you know? The dagger is embedded in my thigh. Wow. That can't be good for me. But, I don't know, it's just fun to have, like, an associate, you know? I'm like, oh my gosh, hi! <laughs> you know? And he's a well-known professor, and a mage. I'm just, a, I'm just a little warrior who, like, talks to the spirits and hopes for this. But, anyway, I should probably go now, but thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I'm gonna cut away and say thank you to my patrons. All right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.